All right, hey there gamers. Today, I think this is the first consumer unboxing on YouTube of this. If not, it's the first in Canada. This product was released around two days ago by Thermal Grizzly and D Der Bauer. It is the LGA 1700 Micra Direct Dye Cooler. So I was gonna go with the EK All-in-One that's coming out shortly. But, you know, <clears throat> a lot of drama with EK, even though they make some good products and, and all that stuff. I, I decided with Der Bauer releasing his at the absolute perfect time, I'm going to go with a custom loop instead. My first custom loop, so I'm going to have some videos of that coming up. So I will have the install in a different video. This is just opening, unboxing. But <clears throat> if you have a 13th gen or 14th gen, I think 12th gen also works. Uh, Intel processor. Uh, I, I'm doing a build with the 14900KS. If you have that or the 14900K, it gets really, really toasty. So this was shipped yesterday. Last night at 3 p.m., FedEx picked it up in Germany and it, it was delivered in Canada today by around like 2.30, so 3 p.m. So like one day delivery, don't expect that. That was luxury, but here we go. Let's let's see it. So inside, you can see this. Thank you for trying Thermal Grizzly. You can see, you get the Micra. Oh, you can see there's a pressure test protocol. That's really cool. So they're testing it themselves. That is very impressive. That is Thermal Grizzly, such a consumer friendly company, such such great, just everything all around. Der Bauer should be extremely proud of what he does. So this is the Intel Micro Direct Die. <clears throat> you can see the guide here. There's some little warnings and stuff. So where's the uh, where's the English one? Russia. Wow, they got a ton of a ton of languages here. Um, on the other side, probably. So it tells you what to do. So take off the integrated loading mechanism with the CPU in, and spin on that. Where is the English? There we go. There's the English. So loosen and remove the integrated loading mechanism screws. <clears throat> remove the integrated loading Mexican, or me Mexican mechanism, sorry. Uh, protect socket pins from damage. So install the CPU without the heat spreader. Um, that, so with, yeah, without the IHS. Apply the thermal pads, thermal paste, or liquid metal. I'll be using thermal, uh, <clears throat> thermal gri Grizzlies Conducto Knot Extreme. I think that's the best thing to use if you're going with something like this. Um, so yeah, and apply it to the direct die itself. Place it in the position, pay attention. Screw it in using the screws. Hand tighten the screws crosswise. So <clears throat> nice and simple instructions. Great, love that all so far. Now let's get to the piece. Whew. So what do we get in here? We got the little Allen key and the screws and a nice little bag. We'll put that back. We're just gonna take a quick little look see at it. Oh, what's it? Oh, that's that's uh, you got some different Allen key there too. And wow, just feeling feeling this initially, I can tell this is met, made of metal, of course. It's nickel plated copper. So look at that. That looks great. So. I'm excited to try that. First time direct die cooling. First time doing a custom loop. This is the Thermal Grizzly Micro Direct Die. Is that my serial number? I don't know. But yeah, super cool. I'll, uh, I'll be making some more videos on this shortly, gamers. But <clears throat> that's the unboxing. That's what you're going to get. How you're going to get it. The uh, pressure test protocol is so awesome. I didn't expect that. So um, I just want Der Bauer to make more products in Thermal Grizzly because to be honest, like there, there's no company out there I've seen that's just that good all around. Uh, very fair price on it too. I paid like 109 US dollars plus shipping, which was like 30 bucks or something. I don't know. I just wanted it. I got it super quick. I'm super happy. Unfortunately, I still got to wait on a couple other things showing up in the mail. 
but that's okay. We're gonna get to the build soon. That's this Intel Micro Direct Die version one. I don't care about not having the RGB. Um, there's gonna be an RGB version coming out that has one to three degrees roughly cooler, uh, better performance than this at some point. Uh, but this just came out, it's awesome. No complaints at all from what I've seen. Um, we'll see if I can manage to deal it a 14900 KS for the first time without breaking it. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, product link will be in the description. Uh, support Thermal Grizzly, support Derbauer. Uh, very happy with this. No affiliation, no sponsorship. Have a great day, gamers.